trajectory ribs are a great way of adding structural integrity to plastic injection molded parts. To create the trajectory rib, there is the command from the rib drop down, choose trajectory rib. And for placement, it wants a sketch. And if one doesn't exist, you can create it inside of the feature. And I'm going to sketch on the top of these posts over here. Click the sketch button to go into sketch mode. And the nice thing about this is that you do not have to lock into part geometry. For example, I'm going to sketch a couple lines. And one I'm going to put right down the middle. And you'll notice that I'm extending it beyond the width of the part. And let's put another one over here and make it horizontal. And I'm not even going to change the dimensions. Let's go and turn off the dimension display so it's not distracting. And so the second line I sketched does not intersect the part. So when I hit the check mark, you'll see the preview of the feature that's being created. Let's go to the shape tab. And first off, you can change the thickness. Maybe I'm going to use a big one that you can see with a value of four. And since this is going to be plastic injection molded, let's add some draft in here. And right now it's giving me 3.7 degrees. You usually only need one or two degrees. And it updates. We can also round the top. And when I do that, it's using a two tangent round. You could also use a specified value instead. For example, let me use a radius of one. And you'll notice that it gives me sort of like a, a flat section in the middle. But let's go back to two tangent round. And also we can put rounds on the internal edges. And the preview went away, which meant that my round is probably too big. Let's try to use a smaller value. And the preview comes back, so that shows me that this is good. And when I hit the check mark, there we see the geometry is created, and it looks pretty good. And I can always select the feature and edit definition. And go back to the placement tab. Let's edit the sketch. And I can add in more geometry. Uh, for example, let's add to my references. I want to make sure that I get centered on these two middle posts. And I'm going to create a center line just to lock into that. And let's create our line. And again, I don't even need to get the full length of it. Just hit the check mark. And in this case here, let's try changing. Oh, wait, actually, it's still computing. There. Let's try smaller value. There we go, and that works. Hit the check mark. And the trajectory rib was created. So again, it's creating a lot of geometry here, uh, very quickly, very easily, a lot of functionality inside of that tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.